Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, finally, some well-deserved sunshine and dry air this afternoon, helping temperatures to get up into the lower 60s. We check out the sunset from this evening, looking off to the west. Sunset time now at 7:11, and really not much on the western horizon as far as approaching storm clouds. Looking pretty good. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar verifies this nicely, not finding any precipitation. Skies are clear. Though later tonight, more towards say daybreak or just before dawn, there may be some low clouds and some patchy fog forming, but won't last very long. If we catch it, it should burn off fairly quickly. But that dry stretch begins as the uh, rivers and streams uh, start to uh, recede slowly. And uh, the Patuxent River, as we mentioned earlier, is still in major flood mode. Downtown Providence now with clear skies, 46 degrees, so uh, comfortably cool here. South breeze at 5. Humidity now close to 90%. Get a check on some area rivers. And once again, the Patuxent, in fact, these new numbers just coming in during the commercial break, it's dropped off even more now, 15.22 feet. Flood stage is 9 feet, so I mean, it's still a solid you know, six feet above flood stage. That's considered major flooding, but it has dropped five feet since yesterday. But it will take until probably the latter half of the weekend for it to completely go below flood stage. It'll still be in major flood mode uh, through at least tomorrow morning. The Blackstone River, better news here, continues to drop. It's just barely above flood stage right now, and it will drop below flood stage during the uh, overnight hours. The Wanaskatucket River is no longer at flood, uh, above flood stage. It's right at flood level, which is 5.5 feet. So that will continue to recede and just minor flooding occurring right now. That'll go below flood stage during the overnight. The Pawkatuck River still with some moderate flooding, but it's receding there as well. We've been showing you pictures all day of how the water's been dropping off. This is a picture of a top of a van yesterday at the height of the storm. Greenwich Village Apartments in Warwick, the roof of a van right there. Same location this morning. You can see how much the water level had dropped off, and now it's down to bare pavement. So we've seen dramatic drop in some neighborhoods of the uh, water levels. Clear skies now on the satellite photo, looking good. Some clouds off to our west, but not producing any precipitation. So what will happen this, uh, during the overnight hours? Clear skies for now, but towards daybreak around 5 in the morning, some patchy low clouds and some fog, especially as you get closer to the south shore. And again, should burn off by early morning. So some spots may start off with clouds and a little bit of fog. Temperature at 47. Mid to late morning, we're back to sunshine, and it extends through the afternoon. Really setting up for a pretty comfortable day. Dry conditions by 2 o'clock in the afternoon, about 67 degrees. Now, along the south shore for your Friday afternoon, there'll be a very weak sea breeze late in the day. That'll keep the temperatures slightly cooler along the water's edge. But further inland, away from any ocean influence, should have no problem getting up to, say, 67, 68 degrees. So a real nice day and more drying out of those neighborhoods that are covered in, in water and mud. Uh, the weather will cooperate as far as assessing the situation and trying to clean up. Um, upper 50s along the Cape and the island, so cooler there. 68 Taunton, Fall River 65, and sunshine to Bedford 65 degrees. Saturday is just a beautiful day. Spring fever, upper 60s to near 70 at least away from the ocean. And right now, even Easter Sunday looks fine. Sunrise at 623, dry, mostly sunny skies and uh, temperatures topping out. There you go in the upper 60s to low 70s once again. So a very comfortable day. That nice weather extends into early next week. Uh, those people that have been flooded by the rivers, you see that rain there early next week, actually in the middle of next week. At this point, it looks just like scattered showers and not necessarily a real heavy soaking rainstorm. But we'll watch it closely. Temperatures midweek at around 65. But beautiful stretch of weather now through uh, the holiday and obviously uh, well-deserved. So the Easter egg hunt on Sunday will be nice weather for the, the ground may be a little soft, but it's dry as far as no rain. No soggy eggs, though, I hope not. No, probably not. All right.